I want to remind uh, all believers that we need to pray for our brothers and sisters who are living in the countries that have not the full, full religious freedom uh, because uh, they are facing situations where they, uh, for instance, uh, have, can uh, lose their job or <clears throat> their children are not able to uh, take the education they are willing to take because of the different uh, religious uh, thinking. Thank you, uh, thank you that uh, you really take time to pray for them and uh, uh, also that uh, uh, they, their uh, activities in those countries could be really uh, done in a way that they were not uh, stopped uh, in uh, their uh, uh, worshipping and uh, they can uh, uh, have their uh, children uh, with, the, with them uh, in, when they are practicing their, their uh, worship and uh, uh, serving the Lord. We have to remember also that uh, they have not the right many times uh, to go outside like we are doing in many other countries uh, to proclaim the gospel and there are limitations uh, in a way they can give their testimony. They are many times prohibited to, to say anything to people uh, practicing another religion. So let's pray for them and let's stay with them so that they can be bold uh, in following Jesus and God will give them wisdom how to give the testimony about their faith.